What's up guys, it's Phone Tech here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a ROM that's made a lot of headlines for the awesome features that it includes. Guys, this is the Omni ROM for your Galaxy S3s and Galaxy S4s. Let's check it out. <laughs> Moving on from that, this ROM is known for, as I said, its features. It has a lot of really useful features that no ROM maker has really thought of before. And because of that, ROMs like Liquid Smooth incorporate features from OmniROM into their own. So if we go into settings, as you can see, this is based off of Android KitKat 4.4.2, the latest version of Android. And it is a nightly, so it is being updated on a daily basis. For the S3, it is an unofficial port, and I'll leave the links down below. And for the S4, you could get it on their website. I'll also have the links for that too. The first feature that I really fell in love with was found under the notification center, and that was immersive mode. Basically, you enable this, and with a swipe down, you access your notification center. This basically takes away your notification center, gives you more screen real estate, and then when you really need to check your notifications, you just swipe down. Another feature that I also found very, very useful was also in the notification center. Basically, with a swipe, you can access quick information from any of your toggles that support it. If that's powering down, also we got that with the volume option, the Wi-Fi option, the Bluetooth option, the GPS option, and you just got a bunch of different options. This feature completely changed the way I was using my notification toggles as I was able to get a lot of quick information from them and it basically gave them a whole new use that I didn't expect and I haven't seen in any other ROM before. So like any other ROM, of course it has its own interface customizable section and you could go and customize whatever you want but I'm going to focus on some of the features that I found very cool. The first feature I wanted to take a look at was Active Display. Now I did go over this in my last video in the Liquid Smooth ROM and that ROM actually got that feature from this ROM. So I know that probably confused you but this ROM does have this feature. It is the one that first implemented it and let me show you quickly how it works. So basically once you've gone through your settings and enabled pocket mode, once you pull your phone out of your pocket, it will give you a quick glance feature that shows you the clock, the time, the date, and any notifications. Basically any stuff that you would quickly want to check. And then it's up to you, as I said, if you want to check and unlock your device. And now I'm just going to give you a quick detour of the rest of the features that we get. Under bars, we get to customize our brightness control, notification count, quick pull down, basically just the normal stuff we're used to in any ROM. Under that, we do get a menu section where we can go and customize our power menu. Uh, we could go and add different stuff like screenshot, and if you want to do that, definitely play around. That's also a very useful feature to have for quickly accessing different stuff. Under that, we get notification drawer, but we don't get too many settings. Most of the time you're going to be customizing your notification drawer, there's a little edit button actually in the drawer. So then you could go and tap on which notifications you want to delete, and you tap back on the button and it will delete them. So if we try that one more time, as you can see, it will shrink the notification that you choose, and we could choose, just say two right here, and then it will delete them. So it's kind of basing it off what Samsung did with TouchWiz. So it's good that it's right there. You don't have to go into any specific settings. And last but not least, we do get a more section where here we can go and when you go into multitasking, you could have a clear all button and you could also change the position of where you want that clear all button to appear. Under the button section, we also do get another option where we can go and enable custom actions. And this basically allows us to customize our home, back, and menu button. Once you enable it, you can go and change the tasks of when you click on those buttons. So lastly, let's check out some of the apps that they include. And you could find all of these in the app drawer. And we're going to start off with DSP Manager. So if we go and pop up into the app drawer, as you can see, there is DSP Manager. So this is actually from the CyanogenMod ROM, or they were the first ones to have it. But basically you could go and change 
your headset volume, your speaker volume, your Bluetooth volume, and your USB dock. This is something you should really play around with by yourself. You could enable higher bass, 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 whatever you want to do there. I'm not a music expert, so I'm definitely not going to go in depth with that. Also, they do include a Dev Tools app where I think this is an app from the Play Store, but you could definitely go and play around with that too if you know what you're doing. And they do include the stock music app from Cyan Engine Mod and basically all the other apps you would think of from a stock Android ROM. So as I said before in the video, this is a nightly and you would expect some bugs, but I haven't experienced any bugs yet. Again, it can differ for any person. So definitely if you find any bugs, leave comments down below for other viewers to see and figure out if they still want to install the ROM. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, do make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Guys, thanks for watching.